All right. So looking at what you have here. So this is already the change, which is, well, like we talked about, it's kind of a bummer. She just kind of comes in. It's kind of cute how she, I mean, you can always technically, if you're really, if you want to have a bit of a delayed entrance, you can always open this and imagine her arm. It's a weird color. Hold on. <laughs> it's red. Imagine her arm is here. Thumb is here. Holds the door. And, you know, she's, she's here. So that first you see the arm and the door opens, you wonder, oh, who's opening this? And then later on she enters, if that makes sense. Like you don't, you don't have to have her come here. See how she's already here with her head? She's almost, she's already inside. I mean, you're intersecting here even. So imagine that arm is just here, but then the head is technically uh, still on the outside. And only later on does she come in. I mean, you know, if you want to, that, that could be a way to have a different entrance. What you're gonna have to work on is when she comes in, she just looks like a robot because there's, you know, there are no blinks, there are no IDARs. She just kind of looks straight, just with, um, you know, kind of a glossed over robotic look versus she looks and then maybe she catches this first, blinks and then looks at this and then switches to this, back to this. So there's some more facial stuff that you can put in. I'm not sure how much you have. I mean, you have stuff here already. That's why I'm wondering, like, why isn't there anything right here? So this just feels a bit dead. Like she's looking, like, at the wall. You know, imagine this is behind the camera, like the wall of the fridge. It's a bit weird. Also, just body-wise, you can see the angle of the chest and all that stays in that angle. See, through all of this, all I'm seeing is up and down. But there's no side to side, there's no wire rotation, there's no other change in the body there. It was a bit weird. She since you're not actually grabbing the food here, A, in order for the cut, I would have you would have to cut like here. On frame. Oh, you don't have it. You need a frame counter so i can tell them which frame oh my frame is frame 125 but you know i don't know where that is so somewhere here or wherever you want it i need a frame counter all right so you need to cut out here while it's still moving instead of stopping because you don't know what's going on and then she grabs it so cut out sooner and then i will probably cheat and put the, the plate here donut here ish something the thing that's a bit weird right now is that she comes here and stops and it's it's exactly cut off where her head is it almost feels like that's her head that's her body it's just it's a weird look so it would be awesome if she was either she was taller which you can cheat right you can easily actually if i think about it now you have that is the fridge so you got your these are my sloppy thirds here Right? Her eyes are here. They would be ideally better here. So what I would do is you just cheat. She comes in here and her head, instead of being here, is actually this high. You know, it's just higher. So that way her eyes are here. Composition's a bit better. And then her, you know, her, her head would stop around here-ish. That way you still have part of the neck. And it feels like a more complete person. Versus right now it's just nice. It's just completely cut off. Um, right here, you know what I mean? Like, you want to see this amount, but above here. Yeah, the rest seems okay. I mean, there's some... You know, as, she, as you put your finger there and you she comes closer, there's going to be more pressure on this. So you're going to push down those fingers so they're going to have slight movement. Some keep alive that, that's been missing. But cut out sooner. And she gets to this. Which is fine, but careful. See, you have, you have a couple of things. You're moving her leg and her arm. Leg goes down, arm goes back. You know, it's a bit in sync, so I would you could keep her leg up 
and almost in a pose that's more like this silhouette wise it's a bit cuter than than kind of that what you have here so imagine you know she could be just a bit higher and keep that head up that leg up until you know she starts to grab because then it's not so twinned you don't have movement here and here at the same time and then she can put her leg down as she goes back here that's cute you can also cheat the door uh, open that uh, just a bit wider so when you're here there's no danger of her hitting this and hitting this because you know if you open the door here you can easily just open till here and then even at this point you can open it more no one cares no one's, no one's going to care about that continuity but when you move your when she moves her arm here right on this there's a movement right here and then it's kind of cut off here and there's not enough in the shoulder there's nothing in the chest as this arm goes forward and back so you got to involve that chest a bit more it's kind of cute i like that i think this is a bit too bouncy if she would really lift up like bring that plate up and down like this the donuts whatever they will bounce around especially that second one Boop, right there so that feels a bit much it's a cute walk though dun, 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 dun. that's cute too she just gets a bit off balance so this is okay ish this i'm not quite buying how she can quickly move her root over and i don't know how she's stopping she stops on a dime as if she hits this door so you got to stay within this area and kind of come back with it to be a bit looser in the root. And at this point, she's pretty off balance. I will keep her more around this angle while she does this here. Then she would be a bit more like that. So this here, root here, this, you know, just to me is a bit more balanced. That feels a bit broken when all that stuff is moving here, but then the hips are not moving. And again, she feels off balance. And just how slow she puts that leg down. She would have to put that leg down so much faster to be balanced again. Yeah, so it's just it's taking too long. You gotta be more in something like this throughout the whole time. This feels more balanced. And again, if you're jumping like this. These guys will go pew, pew. so either you compensate and when she jumps that plate is dragging and then it comes up and then it comes down slower so you can would do that or you just don't jump as high you don't make it as much of a move and then again you got to cut out sooner like you cut here maybe and then you know she's going to look here is she looking here um just going to make sure that have you know some more stuff in their face going on but it's cute it's cute i like how you know you have that turn and then that little walk that'll change here and all that it's just it's interesting to me that this is what you put in the shot now but we talked about this uh in my class as well you know, adding on personality, having more contrast in the movement so they go somewhere, go somewhere here so it's not in one axis. Do little kids things. Like, this is not how an adult will close the fridge. This is more what a, a kid would do. So I'm always interested in, like, how come this is now in your shot, but when you were working on it in my class uh, and we were all critiquing it, like, you didn't put it in your shots then. I'm actually very curious. What prompted you to make her walk like this jump over do this and hop over like how come you made that change is that the current class the people that told you or how did that come about i'm very curious uh and then quickly let me see here if i bring up maya uh for your sound what you do is in order to have the sound down here um show you here so like you know in here obviously you know you would have the sound so what you would do is you do file import and then you would have to go uh hold on i'll just switch to a different folder so you just navigate your folder to um 
to any audio you have. So I have animation audio stuff in here. So let's say I take Lost. Uh, how about this one? Although that is an MP3, that is a mistake here. I got to go back and find a WAV file. There you go. So now I never it's in here. I never entered the numbers. Right. And you're going to have to extend, uh, you know, make sure that your first and last frame corresponds with your actual audio. And let's pretend that you have a scene that starts at frame 60, right? And then your audio is your audio is cut off here. Like you want that to begin sooner, you can do a right click. And um, you can't see it. Hold on, I would have to bring up my okay. Do a right click, sound. This is the one I just imported. Go to the option box. Uh, and then in here you have an offset. So since my shot starts on frame 60, if I put in uh, a 60 frame offset, you can see that the, the sound starts here. The actual sounds, you know, that are recorded appears here, but my sound file starts here. So if I wanted this here, you can say, well, instead of, I can go back uh, and then you can start readjusting, right? So you can see 40 frames brings me to this. Well, then I can say 25 frames brings me to this. So you can start adjusting and I can do this very precisely. So if I, if I say offset 15, for me, this is exactly where the sound starts. I never entered the numbers. I never pressed the button. I never entered. There you go. And if you know, you can extend this longer to see if you, if the sound is longer. For me, it is actually. There's some more silence. You know, and then it's up to you to cut out whatever you need. You're lying. That's a good one. I forgot how long this is for me. Oh, there's more. No, I'm done lying. It's interesting. Anyway, that file import again, file import, and then you import whatever sound you have. Let's pretend I'm bringing another sound file. Then you can go again in here, and I'm going to move up my Maya. You can go right click with your mouse in the in the timeline right click sound and now you can see these are the two first one i put in and this is the second one so i bring in the second one and you can see it cuts off the beginning so i'm going to go again into um, sound of options here and then set my uh offset actually my frame should start at one that's what it was and then here we go that's my beginning there were 23 people on that deck and it would have collapsed whether you went out there or not. So my place. Yeah, but I did walk out there. And it did collapse. There you go. It's a good line. I'm going to animate to this one soon. I killed him. It was an accident. That was my fault. There you go. And stop. See, it stops around 502. So I, for me, I will put in 502. And then there you go. And that's my thing. Anyway, I hope this helps. I have no idea if this helps, if that was your question. So I'm going to leave it at that, and then you can let me know. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.